Singapore is deepening its economic ties with the United States with the launch of a new artificial intelligence AI program to groom talent. The new AI Talent Breach Program is expected to deepen collaboration between the US and Singapore on critical emerging technology, including AI with an emphasis on supporting youth, women, and future leaders in tech, said the U.S. Department of Commerce DOC and the Ministry of Communications and Information MCI in a statement. It will build on the existing U.S.-Singapore Women in Tech Partnership Program, which was launched in 2022 and features networking and mentoring sessions, workshops as well as other activities to facilitate partnerships among companies in the two countries. But details of the program are scarce for now. AI talent grooming is one of three areas identified as the deliverables of a roundtable discussion on AI held on June 5, led by U.S. Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo and Minister for Communications and Information Josephine Teo. The other two areas where cooperation between Singapore and the U.S. will be strengthened are digital infrastructure and services, and AI innovation and governance. Speaking to reporters, Mrs. Teo said that skills development is the only enduring and sustainable way of helping to keep people in jobs and help them move into better jobs. I like to just say that when the International Monetary Fund says that Singapore is the world's most AI-ready country, we think that no one can ever be ready enough, said Mrs. Teo. In May, Trade and Industry Minister Gon Kim Yong had said Singapore was exploring the possibility of a talent exchange program with the U.S. in fields such as AI. Over the next few years, U.S. firms have a pipeline of investments in Singapore's digital economy relating to AI and other digital technologies that will easily exceed $50 billion. Mrs. Teo said, describing this as a very strong stem of approval. She added that U.S. companies had also partnered local firms to raise the AI capabilities of more than 130,000 workers here through schemes such as TechSkills Accelerator. Singapore's National Tech Upskilling Initiative Mrs. Teo said Singapore is continuing to invest in the fundamentals, with investments in submarine cables and data centers likely to generate more than $20 billion in investments with plans also underway to expand existing AI centers of excellence, as well as set up new ones. Technology spending in Singapore hit $22 billion in 2023, with the US being the top foreign investor. Held at the Treasury, the roundtable event was attended by government officials from both countries and representatives from both US and Singapore companies, including Google and Grab. The U.S. is deeply invested in its bilateral relationship with Singapore, said Ms. Raimondo, adding that American businesses desire to do more in the republic. AI is the defining technology of our generation. She said, pointing to its potential applications in a wide array of areas ranging from clean energy to education. Specifically, the U.S. is keen to work with Singapore in advancing the technology in partnership with innovators in the private sector. Ms. Raimondo is on a three-day official visit to Singapore to attend the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework for Prosperity Ministerial Meetings and Clean Economy Investor Forum. The two countries are also committed to aligning safety standards and ways to mitigate risks associated with AI. Ms. Raimondo said, adding that this will lead to greater trust in the technology and more adoption. For a start, the US and Singapore have completed a mapping exercise between the US National Institute of Standards and Technology's NIST AI Risk Management Framework and the Infocom Media Development Authority's IMDA AI Verify Framework, both of which are aimed at ensuring the safe deployment of AI technologies. NIST and IMDA are also committed to addressing the next generation of AI. On May 30, Singapore launched the Model Governance Framework for Generative AI. 
which highlighted nine areas where governance of the nascent technology can be strengthened. Meanwhile, the U.S. AI Safety Institute and the Digital Trust Center, which is Singapore's AI Safety Institute, are planning to advance the science of AI safety. On their part, the DOC and MCI said they will collaborate on the responsible design and development of AI technologies, together with encouraging commercialization opportunities and the development of international standards. Correction note, in an earlier version of the story, we said that Ms. Gina Raimondo is attending the Clean Energy Investor Forum. This is incorrect. It should be the Clean Economy Investor Forum.